Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. This time I will show you how I did this liquid gold text, this one here. You can download this project file from my website, I will put the link in the description. Uh, but some people had problems to do uh, to work with this file, to, to, to change the text and something else. And so now I will show you from scratch how I did this. Okay, let's start. At first, of course, we need a text spline. The spline, the text spline. Here I would recommend to take a font uh, what looks a little handwritten. So I took a moment, I have to Bradley something I took. Yeah, Bradley Hand ITC. So, and here, let's try the tutorial. Okay, now we have to rotate this spline 90 degrees. If you hold your shift and drag your mouse, so, so you rotate in steps, so 90 degrees. It's okay. And we are almost done. <laughs> the next thing we need is a sphere. Okay, the sphere. Uh, here I start from basic with, with a icosahedron sphere. Normally you start with this standard one, but it doesn't matter which one you take. But my settings are here, icosahedron. If you want this like me, you just have to go to things you want to do to standard uh, ecosahedron and now go to edit and here set as default then you every time will start with this one you can do it with the text here with the text planner as well uh, I start with middle and normally it starts uh, with with left so but nobody needs left so everybody <laughs> and here the same you can go to edit and save as default so, back to a sphere, a size from about 2 and 12 is enough. Now we need a cloner, MoCraft cloner, MoCraft clones. If you hold your Alt key on your keyboard and press on the cloner, the cloner get will become automatically, automatically parent of this active object here in this case the sphere. So Alt key and click on it and we have here. So now we go here to object and for the object we take our text spline. And you see we count on our text spline. But we don't want count, we need steps and here we decrease centimeter like uh, like this we'll see you know, five good and this whole cloner we put in a meta ball so the same here press your alt key the cloner is selected press your alt key and click on meta balls and the meta ball get become parent of this good that looks not so fancy good uh, here and for the editor subdivision we will make five oh, it looks quite okay oh it looks okay good yeah, that's almost it <laughs> now we take a disk for our floor Make it bigger, of course. And now we will we'll see. If we render this, we have almost liquid text. But now you can play with this one. You can play with the editor subdivisions, also with the render subdivisions too, of course. Normally you take the editor subdivisions uh, higher value 
so you can work better within the viewport. But here it's five works okay. You can take three. See it's more smooth and then see here. Yeah, three is better. In this case. Okay, that's the text and now I did this underline thing here, so this one, for this I did very easy, take a spline, a linear spline, go chuck, 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 okay, and now go from linear to Akima, I would say, and look what we get. We get this wonderful underline. And now we do exactly the same. We make, we can, we can uh, copy this whole thing from the metabolic. Let's see, this is the text. And now hold your control key and drag this out here. So you make a copy of this whole thing and just go to your cloner and instead of this text spline we have here, we take our underline spline here. So, and you see, starts to work. Let's take the underline here and underline here. But now we need some bigger spheres uh, because here we have uh, one less two splines, so we will show you this. And here and here. Here we have an outline spline, eh? so it's, uh, it's uh, two spheres next to each other. And here we have just one spline. So what we do is just make the sphere a little bigger from the underline. Let's say uh, double it. For. Yep. Poof. And now we play with the metapole settings. Let's do the hull. We make 120. Yeah. Here, 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, that looks better. But now, as I said, just play with the settings. And, and now we do a little trick here. We take this whole underline and press Alt G on your keyboard to group it in a null. Then, with the null here selected, we go to the, our deformers and take a polygon reduction deformer. Hold your Shift key and then press on it, so it becomes a child of this null here. So, and with this polygon reduction, you see, we get this thing. Let's see how it looks. It looks not really, it's too big, the whole thing. Let's see it from the side. Yeah, go to the underline spline and we can take this spline. Oops. and just put it a little down here so we get the same height as here should look better I think yeah it looks much better and if you want this smoother here at the edges you can go to your underline and hold your alt key and press on your subdivision surface. So now we get this one. That looks quite nicer. Good. We have here our text. Let's group this uh, this underline spline here. Yes, so, and let's group this to, to 
text. Nice. So that's it for for the for the font. And now let's texture this thing here. Go to the render settings. Yeah, here I have my own render settings, but I will do a new one from scratch. So make a new one tutorial. So output I will 16 by 9, so for 50. Lock it. Then I want a physical render. We start with a normal progressive render. It's the fastest way. Then we need an ambient occlusion and we need a GI. For the GI I take Quasi Monte Carlo and samples 16. Good. So far so good. Now we need something to reflect in our text and first we make, make a texture for our floor. The disk we need a little bigger. So, the, okay, and make a text for our floor, textures, uh, just gradient, uh, circular, you invert knots, the black is too black, let's say we go to here, we want the dark floor, so I want the dark floor because the gold looks better with a dark floor, of course better contrast so okay go here and now we do our gold I'm here in the R16 so I just need the reflectance channel bye bye specular GGX here in the Fresnel we go to conductor and our gold don't need don't need so here about 70 and here about 5 would say we see it later. Good so far. Now we go to our text. Put this on our text plan this gold. And this we call underline. We go to our underline here. Let's this call underline too. Okay. Yes. And now we need something to reflect with it. I take a normal sky. And on this sky I want to put an HDRE image. So uh, we have in the content browser, we have HDRE images in the prime, the presets under prime. I think it's under prime. It's under prime and then light settings, setups and HDRE. Here we take an HDE, let's take this one, yes, so let's make a new material. Sky, yeah, let's name this one things here. Okay, gold, we will see this gold, but do what else. And floor. So sky, we just need the luminance channel. And here in the texture field we drag an HDE in, so. Back here to the sky and drag it on our sky. Oh, now we could do a render, first render. And let's see what we get. And why does it need so long? Ah, here it is. Mm -hmm. A bit darker. Let's go here. Okay. Okay. Reflectance, we don't need just the color. In on my project file, I have here another texture on the floor. I have sent. Uh, that uh, cloth texture, it's something like this. It's go to the reflectance channel, 
and here speculate. We take the I took the Yerevan moving closer so but it, it needs longer to render and something else. You can you can play it and but I just give you an idea how I did this whole thing. So bye bye. So let's render and again why does it render so slow? Um, yeah, it's uh, subdivision. So rendered it. Yeah. yeah, looks quite nice, I think. Huh? So I hope you got an idea how I did this, and now you can play by yourself. So this underline again. Yeah, it looks it looks smoother when when you activate your subdivision here on the underline. Of course, I can do a subdivision here on the text too, the same like with polygon reductions. But I don't think it's necessary here in the tutorial. So in the text, and now what this, you can easily change the text. I didn't make it like this in the project file, so this is the better way here. <laughs> so just go to the text. Give, let's see, Nico. Okay, now you have to press once on the cloner sometimes. And if the cloner doesn't re realize that, uh, recognize that, that there is a new text, just put the text again in here. Now we have this. And we have this one. Okay. Back to the text. I hope you like Fiona. Put the text again in here and with these words I say goodbye and see you in the next tutorial. I hope it was helpful helpful for you and I wish you a great day. Bye bye and see you soon.